or effects of influence or having a strong effect on someone or on something that is impact. If you look at most of us standing here, we are so young and we admire people who are already successful. Why? Because in one way or the other, those people have created impact and we like their impact and their impact is affecting us in one way or the other. And we also admire that lifestyle. We want to grow, we want to create impact. Now, what are the things you need to do for you to create impact? Number one, don't be ordinary. You cannot be like everyone else and you want to create impact. If you want to create impact, you must be extraordinary. When people sleep and they wake up by 8 o'clock, you wake up by 5 o'clock. When people stay at home, they hold it to gossip. You stay at home to create yourself a future. When people go on Facebook, YouTube, Google to look for gossip, you go there to look for resources. You cannot be an ordinary person and you create impact. You cannot be a local Lokito housewife, you create an impact. You cannot be a local man and you create impact. You must be ordinary. Ordinary the way you talk. Ordinary the way you do your things. Ordinary the kind of people you associate with. That's why sometimes people look at you and say, look at your age, but look at the kind of friends you are associating with. It's because you know that you are associated, we equally determine the kind of impact you can create. So if you want to create impact, you have to be ordinary. You have to be extraordinary. The way you do your things, the style, the manner has to be different from everyone else. Go extra mile if you want to create impact. If you want to create impact, you have to go extra mile. Let's say, for example, when you come to CSME, you understand the opportunity and you look at the opportunity and say, I can also build a brand here. I can also build a successful career here. You must go extra mile. When people are coming to work by 7, you come by 6.30. When people are coming to work as if they are going to the farm, you come as if you are going to your office. When people are coming here every day without a plan of work, you come with your own plan of work. You come with your own objective. And when people settle for less, you settle for more. Because you are going extra mile. All of you standing here, there is no measures that we are going to use to say, this one is the best, that one is the best. It's only extra mile. When you go extra mile with your productivity, before they know that this person is the best when it comes to productivity. When you go extra mile the way you dress, before they can say, this is the best dresser of the office. It's extra mile. If you cannot go extra mile, you cannot create impact. If you want to store where other people store, you cannot create impact. Number three, develop a creative mindset of changing the narratives of money. Let me tell you this. If you always say, ah, money, ha, I beg I don't want to have any money because money is the root of all evil. Hey, <laughs> you will never have money. You say, I beg. Too so much money, too so many problems, money will never come to you. You must change the narratives of how you see money. Change the mindset of how you see money. To me, money is everything. Uh -uh. When you have money, you have friends. When you have money, you have connection. When you have money, you have family. No money, no friends, no connection, nothing. So to me, money is everything. So that's the mindset I have towards money. And that's why, as I keep looking for the money, I'll keep seeing the money. But you keep looking at money like, ah, money is a bad thing, oh. Those who have money, they have problems. Who told you? You that don't have money, are you not still having problems? So, you must have a creative mindset. See the importance of money. See what you can do when you have money. Do you know when you have money, eh? Only the kind of car you just buy is impact. Do you know only with the money you have, you go to an orphanage, helping lives is impact. Do you know when you have money, you go to your community, you pick like 10 children from them, you sponsor them to school, that's impact. How can you create impact when you have a low mindset towards money? For you to create impact, you must change the way you see money. You must love money. Ah, admire money. See money. Even if you go down to you say, I beg, that extra, what is extra? Say, me, I'm not interested in that extra. <laughs> that's how you end up coming here begging for gato. Baby, for you see two people buy one cup of ice cream, they're sharing it together. <laughs> because the way you say, me, I don't like that extra. That's why I talk about extra, I'm not interested. And you end up coming back without the extra. You lack money to pay your transportation back. See money as a blessing. See money like parasite. See money like cure. 
Do you know that it's only because of lack of money that's something you this? If I have money by now, I'll be on one beach. Okay. Yes! Chill. I'll be on one beach, chilling. Chill. Taking fresh air. So it's because of money that we work every single day. If you want to create impact, change the way you see money. See it as a beautiful thing. See it as a... Ah. I said that. <laughs> Another thing. If you want to create impact, you must be a goal getter. If you want to create impact, close my door, my door's open. If you want to create impact, be a goal getter. If you are somebody that you always set your goals and then you end up not attaining those goals, you don't feel bothered, you cannot create impact. But if you say today I want to hit 20 pieces, whether rain or sun, be a goal getter. Never say, ah, tomorrow is another day, now there will always be another day. Before you open your eyes, you are 35. Before you close it, you are 40. Before you open again, 50. Be a goal getter. People who want to create impact, they are goal getter. They set their goals for every day. They set their plans for every day. They set their objective for every month and they go after it. Because they know that if I want to create impact, I must have resources. I must have evidence. For me to tell people that doing this training and succeeding, I used to be in the office the first person every single day for more than two, three years. I'm not saying it like, like, uh, like I want to impress. It's still now. Today you came to work before me. I was here before you. I was here when you were sitting in your first bath. I was here when you were still trying to straighten your body on your bed. It's not something that started today. For I woke up every single day. It is now a lifestyle. Because I have my goals for every day. Every day, these are my plans for today. These are my goals for today. This is what I want to achieve today. You need to be a goal getter if you must create impact. You cannot afford to settle for less than you want to create impact. You cannot. You cannot settle for less and you say me, I want to create impact. No, be a goal getter. When you say this is what I want, whether there is rain or there is sun, you go after it. Because the truth of the matter is that every goal that you set comes with its own challenges. Every goal. It could be ill health, it could be family issues, and many others. It could even be societal issues. But when you are a goal getter, you already understand that those moments are going to come. But I should always remember the point that, or the fact that I have a goal to attain. Problems will never get finished. And that's why it's not every problem that should call your attention to show up. There are some problems that will come, you say, I cannot show up at this point because I have a goal to attain. I have people that are looking up to me. The next point. If you want to be a go-getter, you must help yourself first before you can help others. Mm. Mm. If you must be a go-getter, you must learn to always help yourself first before you can help others. Look at what the Bible says. It says that if you have not removed the stick that is inside your eye, you cannot remove the one that is inside another person's eye. So, if you don't have a lifestyle that you already enjoy, you have an impressive lifestyle, how do you want to impress people? You want to borrow and impress people with it? No. So you must first of all fend for yourself, work for yourself, have your own money, have your own things, that you can use those things to impact others with it. That's why you cannot be applying your law of average. You meet somebody at home by 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, or even 1 o'clock, and the person wants to advise you. It's based on what? Eh? The person is advising you based on what? The person has nothing. It, because if you were somebody that has something doing, at that time you will not be at home. That's the truth. You'll not be at home. You'll meet people clubbing and they want to advise you. You'll meet people smoking, they want to advise you. And at the end of the day, you lost your vision. If you must create impact, you must learn to help yourself first. Go out there. It's like a nursing mother. When your baby is crying, your baby is crying and you are hungry, you have been giving the person breast, the child, the baby breast milk, and the child is not getting full because once that breast is empty, whatever is coming from there is just empty water. You cannot say, my child is crying, so there's no way I can go out. You must have that heart to keep that child, let the child cry. Then you go out there and look for food. Then when you bring the food, you eat now, then you can breastfeed the child, and the child keep quiet. If you want to create impact, you must be somebody that has found your purpose. You have purpose. If you don't have purpose, how can you create impact? What do you want to use to create impact? Besides, what is purpose? Purpose is whatsoever your hands find to do, do it well. That's purpose. If you have not found 
know your purpose. Today you are hairdressing, tomorrow you are tailoring, the next day you are marking and designing, the next day you are learning manicure and pedicure, the next day you are learning how to sew and uh, chairs and all that. You have not found your purpose. It is true that when you have these different experiences, then you can now gather yourself to know what you want for yourself. But you can only create impact when you have found your purpose and you stick to that purpose. From that your purpose that you have found, you, that's where you can also be creating impact. The next thing is what? If you want to create impact, you must develop leadership rules, leadership capacity. If you want to create impact, you are like a leader. And leaders, truth leaders, don't say, you people should go and. Leaders say that what? Let's go. You as a leader, you learn to set the pace and you motivate. You don't say, let's, you, you people should go and. You people should go and. That is a boss. That's a difference between a boss and a leader. A leader will say, you people should come, let's go together. But a boss will still say, you go and do that. You go and do that. You go and do that. But if you want to create impact, you have to be a leader. Be a leader. And leaders are humble. Leaders are gentle. Leaders are soft. Leaders are organized. Leaders are disciplined. So this morning, I want to encourage all of you standing here. Ask yourself, do you really want to create impact? And what kind of impact do you want to create? Because there are different forms of creating impact. There is a negative way of creating impact and there is a positive way of creating impact. For example, you are standing here and know you like the person has two gas bottles in your quarter. You have created impact. <laughs> As you are just smoking, you say, I have a guy that will receive gas bottle. You have already created impact. <laughs> yes, that's impact. And as you are going, they just say, that's the latest land owner in this quarter. He's the one that just bought that land now. That's impact. You are passing a child and saying, that's that uncle that paid my school fees when I needed help. That is impact. What kind of impact do you want to create? What kind of impact? That's why you must try every single day to be different from everyone else if you want to create impact. You cannot be the same level with everyone else. The same mindset, the same mentality, the same way of reasoning, the same way of doing things, and you say you are going to create impact. No. Strive to be outstanding. Leaders go for excellence. Choose it.